Hey guys, it's Ashley. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are brand new here, thank you so much for stopping by. And if you're a returning viewer, also thank you for stopping by because if you're a returning viewer, that means, you know, maybe you're subscribed. I'm not really sure, but you're here again. And I hope you decide to stick around for the entirety of the video because in today's video, we are building a very fall related slash autumnal <laughs> for some reason i didn't know how i was going to say that i don't know if i've actually ever said that word out loud um it's an autumnal family home and i thought autumnal i feel like i'm saying it really weird um an autumnal house would be the perfect name for it because it on the outside is very halloween-esque there's pumpkins or i guess we can call them jack-o-lanterns because they have like little faces carved into them we also have a fall wreath up on the door. There's some pumpkins lying around and I think it looks very Halloween. Oh my God. Okay. I locked myself in my closet because my cat started just having a smorgasbord while I first started this voiceover like a few minutes ago and their food bowl is just so loud and now he's trying to get into the closet with me and I locked him out on purpose because he likes to venture around in our closet. Our closet is like an attic room so it's it's not huge but he doesn't come in here very often and even though he's been in here many times though he just like loves to adventure around in here and he'll probably make a ton of noise and it's just that's not what we're going for today so I've cut myself off once again already but basically it's very like Halloween-esque on the outside and then on the inside of the home it's very cozy very fall like there's not too many I guess like Halloween decorations necessarily it's more like fall decorations on the inside so I did use lots of season items I believed I used I guess, yeah, quite a few cats and dogs things because I imagined that this family has two cats. You could totally have a dog here, but I didn't really place down like um, the little, what is that? The toy box for the, for the pets. I just figured with cats, you can just kind of like entertain them with like, you know, the laser pointer or you can get one of those little feather string things. I don't even know what you call them because our cats, they kind of play with stuff like that, but... For the most part, they don't, so we've never had one. And they don't care for laser pointers, which is, like, it blows my mind because our cats are, like, totally, like, like a typical cat. And I feel like a typical cat, well, I take that back. Our cats are actually, like, more like dogs. One of my cats plays fetch, and the other cat is, like, I don't know. They're actually not at all like cats now that I say that. Our cats are very, very different. Um, I feel like a lot of the times cats they hide when people come over like especially strangers our cats are like so social they'll like come downstairs and like rub on a person's leg that they've never met before they'll let you pick them up they come and sit on your lap like like I said one of my cats plays fetch like they're actually very different than most cats but they do have some aspects of them that are very cat-like which makes sense since they are cats but Anyway, we're getting a little bit off topic, but basically I created this house to be intended for a family of four and then two cats. So if I were to ever move in a family here, which I probably will, I would move in a family of two girls and two parents and then two cats. And basically you'll see once we get upstairs and we start decorating the girls' bedrooms, I don't know, I just thought it would be cute to have two girls here, so I personally love decorating girls' bedrooms in The Sims, and I wanted to make one of the bedrooms more for, like, a preteen, you know, a girl that is transitioning from being a little kid to, like, a preteen, so she could be, like, I think good ages we could say or um like age group would be one of the bedrooms is more for like an elementary school girl so maybe like second or third grade and then the older of the two is more like seventh grade maybe like right in the middle of middle school and I ended up making her room it's still very girly and feminine but I do end up putting some black accents in there which I feel like in a way makes it kind of more edgy like she's not super innocent anymore without like misconstruing that term but just like she's growing up you know she she's kind of changing her style a little bit 
I'm starting to place down some toilets just so I can kind of keep it clear in my brain when I go to start furnishing like I am right now, which rooms are the bathrooms, which I feel like they're pretty obvious because they're pretty small uh, compared to some of the other rooms, but sometimes I like to do that. I'll throw some beds in the rooms just to make sure that they're going to fit okay before I completely commit to, an afl to a specific floor plan. But speaking of floor plans, as you probably noticed, I cut that out of the recording and that is because I tried probably like five floor plans before I committed to this one. And it was very frustrating, I will say that. So if you are new to this channel or you've never seen any of my videos before, I typically will upload my videos on a Monday and today is Thursday, which means I am several days late on this. And that has a lot to do with the whole floor plan situation. So I actually started this build ahead of the game. Some people completely um, pre-record their videos, which I would love to get to that point one day. But, and it, you'd think that uploading once a week is really not that hard. And it, I wouldn't say it's hard. It's just, it's time consuming and you really have to make the time for it. If you don't specifically make the time for it, it's just almost not going to happen. And I know that might sound stupid and obvious, but considering how much I do love playing The Sims and I do find the time almost daily to squeeze in, you know, at least 45 minutes of gameplay, whether I'm just playing for fun or I'm building and, you know, making a video, I, I still can't always get it done on time. And especially on the weeks that I work, like, you know, some days I work five and a half days and that's a lot, <laughs> especially when you're trying to, you know, juggle a channel and yeah, whatever. I don't really need to get into it, but basically that's why I'm late on this build. And I was actually supposed to upload this speed build yesterday, but I literally, I did not find the time to do the recording. Things need to be very quiet for me or else I get uh, distracted. If my husband's playing video games in the other room, it's just, it, it just totally screws up the voiceover. So that's why I'm uploading several days late. I do apologize for any of you that were, I don't know, maybe waiting for my video. I don't think that's the case because I really only have like a few of you like true, true like viewers and followers that follow me over on Instagram and here on YouTube. And you probably know who you are because I've interacted with you in the comments before. So thank you so much for your support. And either way, even if you're brand new to this video and to my channel today, thank you for stopping by and thank you for being here. I really do appreciate it because I am a new channel. I'm a slowly growing channel. We'll get there. But anyway, I just appreciate you and thank you for being here and having patience with me. <sighs> Okay, now that that has been said, we have now kind of, well, we've completely done the kitchen, basically, and we are now moving into the laundry room slash, um, what would you call this, mud room, and it actually isn't really a laundry room because, as you could see, I could not fit a washer and dryer in here to save my life. I could have totally fit one, but I really wanted this build to be nice and cozy. I pictured very specific items in this home, like these cards here. I pictured this little inboxed candle here in like the front entryway, and I was able to make it work. And so I would say overall, I was able to make, you know, certain things work that I envisioned. And one of the items I really wanted to use was this big cabinet style like shelf. I believe you find this in like the miscellaneous like shelf items or something. It's like in storage or surfaces. I really don't remember. Those are completely two different categories in The Sims, but um, somewhere in there. And I just felt like this item you need in a mud room. You know what I'm saying? So I really wanted to make sure that I had room for this in my build and it fits perfectly here. It's a two tile. So I wanted to make it fit here. But with that being said, I wasn't able to fit a washer and dryer. So I do end up placing a wash tub and a clothes, uh, what do you call it? A drying rack outside, um, a clothesline. That's what it's called. <laughs> and uh, I do end up placing that outside. And you will notice later on in the build, 
that all of a sudden we're building on a different lot. It's not super obvious necessarily, except you'll see that we kind of run out of backyard space here pretty quickly. And then all of a sudden we're expanding and we're adding things to the backyard. I don't really remember exactly when in the build or when in the video that that happens, but it does happen. And um, yeah, I just, to be honest, I just kind of struggled with finishing this home. And like I said, I, I didn't procrastinate this video this week. I just had lots of different little issues with it. And I think a lot of it just has to do with the way my brain works. I wanted this to be a certain way and I do like perfecting my builds. You know, like I said, I'm a growing channel. Um, I, I just want my builds to be, you know, perfect and perfect doesn't exist. So it's kind of unrealistic for me to want all of the things, but, uh, I want to give you guys all of the things. I want these homes to be really, really ideal and essentially perfect. So that's why I'm late on this week's video. But anyway, we have just added a chimney to the exterior. I didn't really know what to do with this because I ended up using the three tile fireplace from cats and dogs. Yes, from cats and dogs. And there's no three tile um, chimney like spoke. Was that what it would be called? I really don't know, but uh, I had to make it work. And I think it looked, it looked kind of weird when I first did it. And then I was just kind of telling myself as I was going on with the build, I was like, just keep doing what you're doing. Keep going. And if for whatever reason, when you go to take screenshots or, you know, you look at the chimney too many times and think that it looks stupid or ugly, then change it. It's not that big of a deal. Um, the chimney doesn't actually have to be the size of the actual uh, fireplace itself. But then I just I wanted it to look good and be realistic for you guys just because I love realistic builds. I feel like. A lot of the times when I go to download builds, um, you know, from other builders off of the gallery, I like for things to be realistic. Maybe not as realistic as possible, but just pretty realistic. So I like to do that in my own builds. But here you can see we are starting to put together the backyard a little bit and the back deck. And there's like not much space for anything really and I really did want to place the swing set from seasons just because we did use lots of seasons and there are two kids living here so it'd be a perfect activity for them to do after school kind of you know gain a little bit more of their fun before doing some homework or whatever the situation may be and it just looks cute. It goes super well with the exterior, with the white and some of the black accents there. And then I also really wanted to place down this fire pit. And I just figured that maybe this family likes to camp. So I did place down some camping chairs instead of your typical like wooden chair. A lot of the times I default to those little like wooden chairs. They almost look like they're like foldable chairs. I actually have chairs like that that go on my patio and they're very cute and they have like little cushions but I mean anyway that has nothing to do with this build but basically I just thought that maybe this family maybe they don't like camping but they like the outdoors and it just goes really well with the whole aesthetic of this house I feel like it kind of embraces the outdoors a lot and you'll see once we eventually do move this house onto a different lot a larger lot there ends up being more outdoor activities for them. So like I said, I placed down a wash tub and a clothesline and I do end up placing that little tent from Dream Home Decorator, you know, that like the toddlers and the children can play in and like take naps in and stuff. And then I keep the swing set, obviously. And then I kind of enclose it into like a little uh, pit. So I was gonna do like a sand uh, box and I decided, no, let's switch it up and do some tan bark because like I said, this house I feel like is very cozy, very warm, but it also has some of like the dark accents to it, like the black accents. So I kind of wanted to stay in that theme and I placed down some tan bark and I just figured it kind of makes it more naturey. It almost seems more like they live in like Tahoe or something. Like I feel like when you walk around Tahoe, especially like kind of well obviously you're you're in the mountains when you're in Tahoe but if you've never been to Tahoe before if you like rent a cabin or a house there a lot of the times all around the houses and like the backyards and stuff it's like all 
tan bark, but it's, I'm pretty sure it's like natural. Like it just falls off the trees and that's just like what you're walking on. Like instead of walking in dirt or little tiny rocks, it's like all tan bark. So that's kind of what I was going for. And I feel like you could totally see this house up in Tahoe or this could, I wouldn't say it's necessarily like a cabin, but it could pass for one, maybe a little bit on the outside. Well, yeah, I guess. I don't know. When I think of a cabin, I kind of think of like a Lincoln log cabin or like, you know, more like wood tone and like wood grain on the outside. But there's definitely cabins that are more like rocky and, you know, paneled kind of like this home is. But that is neither here nor there. I haven't, I have barely talked about what we're actually doing in this build. And I completely apologize. I do these voiceovers very early in the mornings because that's when it's the most quiet. That's when I'm here by myself. My husband leaves for work extremely early and uh, yeah, this is just like my time. You know what I'm saying? So um, we're pretty much finishing up the living room right now. I do end up getting rid of this little chair here and I placed down a cat tree just because I didn't know where else I would fit one and cats love being near windows and looking out windows so figured that would be the perfect place for a cat tree or a cat condo whatever you call it and I think we're pretty much done downstairs now so I'm just kind of putting together this little bathroom here for the two girls that live here the parents end up doing do whoa <laughs> the parents do end up having their own bathroom so they have a master bedroom with an attached bath so this is like you know the main upstairs bathroom I guess since I have placed down some of the new swatches of different items that we have in base game now, I am just so excited about that, by the way. I love the new hand towel swatches. I mean, all the swatches are super cute, but I was very happy about the hand towel. It's more of like, I guess, the decorative towel because it's like the bigger one that you would put in a bathroom. That and the robes because I felt like I kept using the same swatches over and over again and it almost just didn't really fit into like theme sometimes. So I just always felt like I had to use like the white swatch of the robe and the white swatch of the towel there. And I'm just really glad that we got that because to me, I just think it kind of only makes sense to like do all the colors. You know what I mean? Like, for example, like iPhones, I could never understand why they would, you know, release a brand new phone in like black and white and then now, you know, they do like black, white, gray, and like navy or whatever. And then they would do a separate drop of colored phones. And it's like the same thing. And I just, I never understood why. And then they kept doing that. And they like continue to do that. And I'm just like, how about, <laughs> I know it's for marketing and it's for making money and getting people to buy new phones and stuff. But like, how about just drop all of them at once? You know what I mean? That just, it just never made sense to me. It would be like, oh, now available in red, yellow, green, blue, and purple or something like, sorry, I totally cursed. And I, I, that's, that's just how my brain works. Okay. It's like frustrating. I don't, I don't get it. You know what I mean? So anyway, when the Sims finally put in the new swatches of different items, especially like basics, like a hand towel, I just never understood why they never did that in the first place. But either way, that's neither here nor there. It's fixed now. And, uh, I guess I could say I'm very happy about it. But anyway, we are now, basically working on the master. I think I kind of go back and forth a little bit between the bedroom and the bathroom. We actually might be done with the bedroom now. The bedroom is very basic, very simple. I didn't have a ton of space in there to really work with. And I didn't really know like what kind of wall art and paintings and decor I wanted to do in here. Uh, I do, I will say that I think we do need some more wall art. That's like probably something that I think a lot of people can agree on and uh, it's very much needed. I feel like there's lots of different things that you can make or that you can use to make a kid's room really cute but like when it comes to other wall art like for whatever living rooms, kitchens, bathrooms, whatever there's just not I don't know there's not a ton to choose from. Maybe I'm just naive and I just I like my items to be a certain way or I don't try harder. I don't really know, but for whatever reason, I just, 
I don't think we have enough wall art and the wall art that we have is like super duper expensive. So whatever. Anyway, <laughs> I keep saying whatever, moving on because I'll just go on a freaking way too long of a tangent, but we kind of hopped back and forth just a little bit between the two girls' bedrooms because I was just kind of trying to figure out if they were going to have a similar style or a completely different style. Their rooms are both um, still kind of very pinkish purple. This room that we're working in right now is more of like a purple tone, I would say. And the other girl's bedroom, who I imagined was more of like a preteen sim, even though that's not like an actual age group of the sims. I wish it was because that would be kind of cool. But anyway, uh, I made that room more pink and this one's definitely more of like a little purple, like I said. So I just switched out the side table because I felt like it looked a little bit too crowded here with that other side table. I believe it was from either parenthood or or kids room stuff, probably parenthood. I'm not entirely sure, but I ended up switching it out just because the other one was like way too square and like bulky and there was just too much going on on this wall here. And I ended up making this room pretty cute. They're both kind of small, but they both have, you know, a, a few different things that they could do in their rooms. They both have journals and this one has a bookcase. The other one actually has, I think like the little stack of books and uh, that might be it for activities actually now that I think about it. Um, but as a preteen, I don't know, you might want to like be on your phone a little bit more. Maybe you try to like bribe your parents into letting you use the family computer more because you're just kind of out of that phase where you're, you don't really want to play with toys as much anymore. But I still imagined that the two sisters that are living here are still very close with each other and they still play together. So maybe this older of the two still plays with her little sister. Like they still go on the swings outside together. Maybe during the winter, they, you know, build snowmen together or they're called snow pals. Um, and I just, I pictured that she still is very youthful though. And I placed down this little, I guess we could call it like a little box. I don't really know. It's a container from Dream Home Decorator, but I pictured or I imagined that maybe this is like a jewelry box. You know, maybe she's starting to like venture more into like jewelry. And I don't know if I were to move in a specific sim here, I would probably not deck her out in like earrings and necklaces because you can only do so much with the sims it's not super customizable but i just pictured that she you know has nail polish and wears earrings and necklaces with pretty much every single outfit and she just loves to accessorize and just kind of mess around with you know new styles as she's starting to go from a child to more of like a preteen. Anyway, we we're just kind of decorating the walls here. Like I said, I just feel like we just need more wall decor, more maybe like more decals that are just more teen friendly. I don't know. Like I said, maybe I'm just so used to using the same items and I just overlook ones and ones that are more like underrated. I don't know. Maybe one day I just need to like go through and really look at items for what they are and kind of try to see what I can do with them. But here I end up layering some rugs here from Nifty Knitting and I place some shoes down. Oh, and we're into the screenshots. So that's just fabulous. I had no idea that was coming up. Okay. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Follow me over on Instagram. My name is Ashley Angelina with two Y's and two A's at the end of Angelina, as well as my EAID is the same. You can find all that in the description box below. And I hope to see you guys in a future build. Bye.
prefer sitting in my chair during these voiceovers, but it's just so noisy, like the slightest move and it's, you know, and it's just like, I mean, we're not doing ASMR here. If we were doing ASMR, I'd be cracking my knuckles. I'll let you guys hear me crack my knuckles. Okay, sick. They're not cracking. So that's, oh, we got one. Wait. Ooh, I don't know. You guys like that? Should I start a channel where I do ASMR? 